All right, so if we scroll down, here it is, zips. I was totally looking in the wrong direction. Octane Server Prime, Octane Add-on 3.9. There it is. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, boom, we got a blue light, which is good. There it is. If I scroll this down, I typically keep all of this stuff at stock. I don't really change anything here. You can come in here like default material type, universal. I always use that, so I keep it there. You can change uh, your default object mesh type from scattered to movable. What this is, is like if you do a lot of animations and you're like for you're using modifiers to like if you got a sphere and you got a modifier on it and you're shaping it and deforming the shape when you go to render that animation it will show in the viewport moving but when you render the animation it'll just be static you need to come over here and change this to a reshapable mesh so if you do that all the time this is an easy way to just to default it to that i don't do that all the time but i do remember to go and switch that so that's just something I can get into later. And if you guys need help down in the comments, let me know. Uh, other than that, I leave everything else stock. I don't change anything else. This right here, OCIO, if you do want to use like the other color space, you will import it right here and it will automatically set up. But I always export out linear sRGBs, take them to DaVinci Resolve, and I can do whatever color space I need to do. 